Outlook 2016 has an interesting feature called a calendar group. And if we have a lot of calendars of our uh, various different staff members or friends or family, whatever, we can group them into different areas. So if, once we're in our calendar, just go ahead and go to the top where it says calendar group and click create a new calendar group. From here, we'll just call it shared calendars, although we can call it anything we want and click OK. And from here, we can add in various different calendars from other people. Now, you have to have the rights to those people. So let's go ahead and click OK. And there is our shared calendars. So we can create additional calendar groups as well for various different people. And we can put those calendars inside our different groups. So if you have a lot of different calendars, it can be really handy to be able to have that. Now, if you want, you can uncheck the shared calendar so you don't have to see that group anytime you uh, don't want to see it and you can recheck it at any time. So that's creating a calendar group in Microsoft Outlook 2016.